How to prepare for a minimum wage increase in your state, city, or county. Steve Hansen here with the janitorialstore.com where we help cleaning business owners scale their businesses and build system-reliant companies, not owner-reliant companies. So, you know, one of the issues that a lot of people are having is being able to cover themselves as the minimum wage continues to rise in their state, uh, city, or county. So, you know, we, what we got to do is we got to prepare for that. And what you, what you want to do is you want to be able to go ahead and find out where you're currently at and then uh, see what, what the limit's going to be in the next one, two, three, four years. Um, what I'll do is here, I'm going to do an example of Minnesota. Now, uh, in Minnesota, they, the, the state has where you have large employers, the annual gross sales of 500000 or more, uh, the current minimum wage is $9.86. That was effective January 1st, 2019. So now for the small employers, uh, those are uh, uh, companies that uh, annual gross sales are less than $500,000. Uh, the minimum wage is $8.04. That was effective January 1st, 2019. So you can see the, you know, there, there's a little difference there, and it's based off of the size of the company uh, and the revenue that they're doing. Uh, again, so, you know, for the state of Minnesota, we know for a fact that uh, it's a $9.86 uh, for large employers and $8.04 for small employers. Now, something else you got to keep in mind is that you can have different rates for your city and counties. So you have to check into that, too, to find out what, what applies uh, where, you, where your service area is and or where you're doing business. So... The same thing here with uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota, we have large employers, uh, that is uh, more than 100 total employees. The current minimum wage is $11.25. That's our current, current rate. And now we can see that uh, another, another well, uh, uh, 7119 is going to go up to 12.25 per hour. Then from there, it's going to jump a dollar uh, for the next three years. Uh, and then in uh, a 7 1 2022, it's going to reach a maximum of $15 per hour. So that that's going to be a $3.75 increase in three years. Um, that means, you know, $1.25 uh, per year increase. So we have to make some adjustments for that uh, with our clients and how we're billing and uh, how, we're, how we're pricing accounts. If we don't, we're going to fall behind and we're going to have to be going to our clients and, and giving price increases, um, which could really rock the boat for some people. Uh, so we definitely got to make sure that we have a plan uh, to go ahead and have those increases uh, implemented within our, our agreement or contract. Now, here's one thing that you'll see is that uh, for small employers in Minneapolis, that's 100 or fewer total employees. The current rate is is uh, ten dollars and twenty five cents. Then uh, come to J July of uh, twenty nineteen, it's going to be eleven dollars. Uh, July twenty twenty, it's going to be eleven seventy five, and then uh, July twenty twenty one, it's going to be twelve fifty, and then on uh, by uh, July twenty twenty two, it's going to be thirteen fifty. So, you know, that's a, again, that's an increase of three, $3.25. Uh, that's an increase of uh, $3.25 in three years. So we're going to have a dollar, dollar eight cent increase per year. So we need to calculate that and we need to be, get prepared for it. So, for an example, let's say we, had, uh, we have 20 employees and we're in, in the city of Minneapolis. So our 20 employees uh, equals $21.60 per hour times eight hours, that's $172.80. Now multiply that by 52 weeks in a year, that's $8,985.60 per year. That ends up being quite, you know, quite an increase that we're gonna have to cover just in minimum uh, wage uh, wages. Uh, so we have to be prepared for that and we have to start implementing some type of increase uh, in, our, uh, in our prices uh, for the services that we provide. So let's say if uh, let's say we're a company and we're doing five hundred thousand in revenue, that means that we'd have to increase two percent each year just to cover our minimum wage increases. 
So you have to keep that in mind. Uh, make sure you take the time, do the calculations, and uh, make sure you're, you have that in your agreement or contract that you have the right to uh, increase your prices to you know, at least 2% in this example uh, each year uh, just to cover minimum wage increases. Now, as you can see on my screen, I've already got the cost of living adjustment uh, for 2019. Uh, that's 2.8%. Uh, that's another thing that you have to consider as uh, minimum wage continue to go up. You always have to look at the cost of living too and what's happening there, you know, and uh, because that's another cost that we have to pass on. Because if you were to look at this here, um, you know, and maybe let's say the, the average cost of living is going to be 2.8%, you know, every year. Well, right there, it tells us that we're going to have to make sure we increase our prices at 4.8%. Because if we don't, uh, we're going to be running in, uh, running in the negative rather quickly. And we definitely don't want that. We always got to be making a profit uh, for the services that we're providing. Well, that's it. Uh, make sure you like and share this video. If you have any questions, I can, uh, I can answer. Post them in the comment section below. Uh, see you next time with more how to scale your cleaning business advice.